Well, good Wednesday. This is Pastor Hayton, the Lower Lights Devotional. Being Wednesday for me, it's prayer meeting night, and I'm looking forward to coming together with my church family, at least those that avail themselves of the opportunity of being in the house of prayer on Wednesday night, and just looking forward to a good time in the Word and in prayer and enjoying the good fellowship of God's people. Hope that your plans also are to be in a house of prayer somewhere this evening. But anyway, I mentioned yesterday that we've been preparing for our, what we call Bass Sunday, beginning a super summer, and we begin that on Memorial Day weekend with our lawn service and the Sermon on the Mount. We're situated here where we have a little hillside out uh, by the church there, and I can get up on the hillside and give what I like to call the Sermon on the Mount. One of the greatest sermons that's ever been preached, of course, is the Sermon on the Mount that's recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapters 5, 6, and 7. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a wonderful sermon, and I was thinking how different our world would be today if everyone would just follow the teachings of the ser uh, Sermon on the Mount. What a different environment we would be in if everybody would adhere to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. But anyway, I've been studying that in my own reading, and I ran across uh, Matthew 6 and verses 22 and 23 today. I can't cover all that in three or four minutes that I try to limit our devotional to. But the light of the body is the eye. Therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. And if therefore the light is in thee, be darkness, how great is that darkness. Now I believe that uh, Christ is warning us against double-mindedness here. I haven't had time to delve into the study of these verses all that much, but I do know that the very next words, he said, No man can serve two masters. He'll either hate the one, love the other, or else he'll hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and, God and mammon. So I believe that that depends, each verse depends on whether we have good eye or a bad eye, on what our eye is focused on. Now immediately I thought of what is said of Abraham in the Hebrew letter. Abraham of old, told, uh, we are told that he looked for a city with foundation whose builder and maker is God. And that led me to believe that his eye certainly must be focused on the eternal or the heavenly rather than the temporal or the earthly. And I know today that uh, we are living in a world where it's easy to get focused on the things of this world. It's easy to get focused on the materialistic things to the extent that we really lose sight of that which is spiritual. It's easy to think of the temporal and lose sight of that which is eternal. And so I think we need to keep our eyes focused on the heavenly things. Jesus said that we're to set our affection on things above and not on things of this earth. And if our eye is going to be a uh, uh, pure eye, if our eyesight is going to be good, we're going to walk in the heavenly sunlight as we sometimes sing, walking in sunlight all of my journey over the mountains through the deep vale. Remember that old song? But anyway, if you're going to walk in the sunlight, if your eye and body is going to be full of light, better stay focused on that which is eternal, the heavenly and the spiritual things of life. If you want to walk in darkness, focus on the things of this world. Just get attached to the material things. Uh, be greedy. Reach out for all the pleasures and the treasures of this world neglecting the pleasures and the treasures of the next world. And I believe that you'll be walking in darkness rather than walking in light. Well, that's just my intake on just a brief little meditation of this. I want my eyesight to be good. I want the eye to be single. I want it to be focused on the heavenly and not on the things of this earth. Heavenly Father, help us that we may walk in the light by staying focused on that which is heavenly and eternal, rather than that, Lord, which is earthly and so temporal. We pray your blessing upon each one of our lives as we endeavor to love and to serve thee and to be a blessing to others. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow now on Lord Light's Devotional. 
here with your pastor, Hayton. Goodbye now.